Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are working on the All Northwest auditions for the alto clarinet. They've grouped these all together so that if you play alto clarinet, contra bass, or contra alto, you can do the same music. Um, same basic rules apply, they all kind of work the same, but whatever it is that you're taking the audition on, make sure you're super comfortable on it and have spent some time figuring out just the instrument itself. They're all a little bit different. Um, these instruments tend to live in people's band room closets for a while until some band director says, hey, we need alto clarinet on this, and then they show up and it's like it hasn't been played in you know 10 years. So if you have the opportunity to pick one up used somewhere, I would highly recommend it. This clarinet I bought in 2012, 13, something like that, for 50 bucks from a band director friend who said it was just taking up too much space in her closet. So great. I've, performed on it exactly once, and um, it, was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's great if you have saxophone playing friends, you can jump in jazz band and play that in there if you want to. Um, just the bigger thing is that they're usually in disrepair, so if you can, I'll do a couple videos later on and show you how to um, change pads, fix tenon corks, um, but if you can find one or you can fix it up yourself, you'll have a great instrument and it, it could be a lot of fun to play. So the first excerpt is the Holst second suite in F. This is the fourth movement. Uh, I don't think there's any need to play these two excerpts together, one right after another. Just play it, take a breath, keep clear your mind a little bit and make sure you can kind of get in for the next tempo because I do think they're different. So this first one, I'm gonna play uh, dotted quarter equals 165. And um, yeah, keep it light. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you should play it in band sometime too. The next one, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And again, you can't make the recording with the uh, the metronome, but after doing all of these kind of in a short succession, I need a little reminder of what the tempo is. But this one, again, presto, find a tempo that works for you. Um, breathing tends to be a little bit of an issue in Molly on the Shore in this particular excerpt because it's... If you take it too slow, there's no place to breathe, okay? But it has to be clean. So find the balance of where you can breathe, but you can play it cleanly. Uh, I'm shooting for 182 today. I've heard recordings as slow as 170. I've heard them as fast as probably 200. Um, find one that works for you. Only trick I would recommend on this one is look carefully at measure 14. Those triplets tend to be a little bit tricky because I, you know you have to play the D flat over here of course you don't have a choice on that I'm gonna play the E flat over here <laughs> um, that's pretty standard fingering but it's a little bit tricky so practice it slowly the other one that's a little tricky is measure 16 um, you're gonna have to play so you have to play the A flat here unless you have an extra key but either way you're probably gonna have to play here play the F over here on the left and then I'm gonna play the E flat over here on the right. That's the only trick to it. Otherwise, enjoy. <laughs> So I hope you enjoy these. Uh, I enjoy making them for you. And if you like them, be sure to like, like and subscribe. Everybody says that in their videos, right? But um, it really does let us know that you're watching, that you're interested in this content, and we should make more videos of this. As I mentioned, I'll have, I've got a whole bunch of ideas of videos I think that would be helpful. Um, so like and subscribe. If you have questions about how to play this or want me to come work with you for a little bit, um, just send me an email. Really, I'm happy to do it. Uh, my email is J-O-S-H-U-A. M-I-E-T-Z at caspercollege.edu and uh, let me know how I can help. Good luck with this and uh, have a great day. Thanks. <laughs>